We need to find the second half. And that was really freaking weird again. So. Uh, we're gonna go back in that city, apparently. Well, I'm still confused with all those things which are happening here at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna check that side. Maybe we do have a fence on that side as well. Maybe we don't. Seems like graveyard. Holy, it's graveyard. Indeed. I'm low on oxygen. Okay, we're gonna get it. Yeah, they were rushing for somewhere. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get oxygen sense. Uh, we don't know where to find it. I'm not gonna read that one and lose my time there. Unfortunately, I can't see. I do believe my oxygen somehow I heard something inside. But oxygen should be here. Okay, at eight, eight hours remaining. That's probably eight minutes. I'm not so sure, but I'm gonna guess. <clears throat> so I did saw something there. I'm gonna read it and then we're gonna go over dead graveyards and I saw some buildings. Life has gotten very handy here. I want to go home so much. My brother said I should make a list of things I miss about home. I smile when I think about these things. Hopefully we will be able to go back very soon. Things I miss from home. Hmm. Imagine yourself in this kind of situation. Oh god, I wouldn't like to be here. So now I'm not sure is this planet actually lifeless or... <clears throat> there is something. But one thing is for sure, we will definitely go inside. God damn it, we need to find second part of security code. Okay, let's try to do that. I'm gonna check this side, then we're gonna go through city. Hopefully some uh, houses open. And hopefully I did miss something there. Or maybe we will even need to go all the way. Uh, back, although really doubt. Kim just rode me there. There we go, we have something here. I found it appears to be a meteor crate crater, but in light of the nearby man made structures and questioning everything at this point, even Earth has over a hundred known craters, so a hole in the ground here doesn't really confirm any theories yet. But that could be possible actually. <clears throat> If matter actually somehow uh, hit this planet, uh, then it's possible uh, that dust to somehow came on the... I don't know, I'm not expert in those kind of things, but that's only my guess. Anyway, it seems like that we found something here. How do I make it up there? Well, that's the question. It's gonna be, I believe, from here. We just need good timing. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. 
Uh, maybe, uh huh. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I do have an idea. Maybe I don't. Hmm, those houses actually. I don't know. Seems like they're doable to jump from one to one. Or I should say from one to another. So, there we go. We are gonna make something. Holy fuck, that was so freaking bad. <clears throat> I'm almost positive that that is the part of... God damn it. Of that code which we need. Unfortunately, this is going to be a slight problem. Let's see, can we find any other barrels standing down there? Not really. We can climb here, but we're not gonna be able to find anything. Okay, there we go. Nice. Ah, second half of code for access to the Southern Laboratory. Nice. So we did it. We are gonna go there. <coughs> God, I mean, I wish they had something in front of me, like water or milk. Although they, that wouldn't really help me. And the reason why I'm doing this even with my bad boys is... Another reason which you will want actually to hear my channel update. But yeah, anyways, let's go inside. Holy. We fell down? Seems like. Oh my fucking god. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know that. This is really, really scary and it's gonna be some sort of trouble again. I'm fairly positive. Yeah, it's gonna disappear, so now we need to be careful because something will... Or maybe not roll out from somewhere. This kind of reminds me of that movie uh, Poseidon, I think. Yeah, it's called Poseidon. <clears throat> but again, it's kind of scary at the same time. There is no power in this area. Find a way to restore the electricity. Okay, so obviously we need to jump, to jump across. Though this is everything Russian, seems like German for some reason with all those experiments. Okay, I'm going to read this again. Three nights ago I managed to barricade myself in the room with any luck. They won't be able to get in here, of course. All I've done is lock myself into my own tomb. I realize I'm near the end. The calls from the other posts have dwindled over the last two days. Uh, it's been hours since anyone has responded. I made peace with the idea of my death. But I wish and I didn't have to face it alone. So apparently someone wanted to get inside? What the hell? Zombies? Come on, that's impossible. I mean, first, things, uh, first thing which, you, which can came actually on your mind is zombie. <laughs> 
Mm, okay, seems like that we are gonna climb up there, but first thing first. I bet I can make use of this. Hmm. I'm not even sure what the hell is that, to be honest. Seems like explosive, but again... It's kinda weird. I'm gonna get a second one, I might have an idea. That's really unreachable, so... We saw beside those stones, actually, a door which is barricaded, and for some reason, yep, indeed. Yeah, it's gonna explode! Come on. Well... Let's hope that nothing will come up here. So the Russians found some kind of portal that transported them to this planet. And then and then things went terribly wrong. From where? From Earth? And we traveled fifteen years. For fucking sake. I found a way, uh, I found my way into some sort of research facility, some across the skeletal remains of former lab worker. Documents nearby indicate the Russians built some sort of portal system that lead here through the, I'm still not certain where here is. This place appears to be a colony, like they weren't fully established before something went wrong. <clears throat> well, probably some sort of aliens were somehow in Ported in portal or something. Okay, we can go there. For a second, they thought that we were missing some way. It's a bolnitsa, it states bolnitsa, which means hospital. I'm not Russian, but our languages are kind of similar sometimes, so. Yep, indeed, the virus is spreading faster now. All our efforts to contain uh, it have so far been futile. We haven't given up hope, however, and my colleagues are working tirelessly. Now, we're not dealing with terrestrial special species, and this, there is so much we don't know. So they're not dealing. Uh, the challenge is so great, and yet, and yet we will prevail. We must prevail. Holy... Wow, that picture! Okay, again, some weird things happened. Amazing, with, with, with each te test we run, her samples appear more promising. I will log more details later, there simply isn't time right now. So, her samples... Who is her? And why the hell are they doing researches on women? Great. I think my mind is playing tricks on me. Yeah, I thought so, but after all those... Uh, my mind is playing tricks on me, I thought for a moment I was back on Earth. After the hallucination pass, they found the human trackway leading out of the underground facility. The footprint uh, glow green for a reason I can't explain. I took some samples but haven't had time to analyze. The footprint seems to lead out to the facility, so for now I'm going to follow them, but with caution. Okay. So we're not going to be able to go there for now. But I do have idea immediately what we need to do here. Hopefully. There we go. 
So now we will follow those grim foots. Footsteps, I mean. Which should be some sort of blood, but what do we have? Um, Need to find a way to turn this on. Okay, as usually. Find a way to turn this on. Got to be something down there. Okay, there we go, nice. So, the most logical explanation from now is um, female uh, alien with green blood, uh, which can scream like a girl. And yeah, that's my opinion. Hmm. Maybe there's a way around. Well, there must be a way around. Hopefully not into this pipe. Okay, thanks God. But it's gonna be that pipe, I think. Yep, indeed. Okay, we can see those footsteps again, which is nice. 